What's up, sports bettors? Matt Modai here with Odds Jam, here to give you some last minute bets to lock in for today's NFL betting slate. We're looking at Bengals Bills. We're looking at Cowboys 49ers. Should be an awesome, awesome day of football after an awesome day of football. So let's get right into it. Not going to dilly dally around with this one. So the first play that we're going to go ahead and lock in here is Joe Burrow, Joseph Burrow over, excuse me, uh, one and a half passing touchdowns, minus 127 odds at Bet Rivers. So first things first, let's talk about the math behind it and why this is a good bet and why this is a profitable bet. And everything is kind of derived from these no big odds here. So we see the minus 134 listed under the no big odds. This can be viewed as the true line of what this market should be priced at. So the true line of what Joe Burrow over one and a half passing touchdowns should be priced at. The logic behind it and what goes into this number is obviously the most important thing. So yeah, you can read the number, but it's, I think, important to understand why it's so powerful and why positive EV betting is so profitable. And if we look at the screenshot here, so we're just looking at odds from every sports book for this play, right? Burrow over under one and a half. Bet Rivers has it at minus 127. We see odds all the way up to minus 164. That's a pretty massive range of odds. It's like a $37 difference uh, if you're trying to profit $100 on this play. So with the notion that odds are this far apart, one has to be right and one has to be wrong, or they're both wrong and it should be priced somewhere in the middle. The, regardless, both of them can't be correct. Both of these numbers, the minus 127, the minus 164, they both can't accurately reflect uh, the, the true line, or they, they both shouldn't act, they both can't, excuse me, accurately reflect the market of Joe Burrow over one and a half passing touchdowns. So what Oddstamp did was test thousands and thousands of previous betting opportunities to determine what sports books were consistently the most accurate. So they collected all this data and said, okay, these, whatever, five, seven, whatever number, I don't know, uh, it's different for every sport, so I can't just give you a number, but these, let's pretend five sports books are consistently better than others. So if these five sports books are consistently the best than the rest of the markets, what we're going to do is use them to set the markets moving forward. So we're going to collect odds, and this is for future slash current betting opportunities. We're going to collect odds from all the sharp sports books, remove the VIG, and then combine them in a weighted average to spit out these no VIG odds you see here. So that's why this can be viewed as the true line of this Joe Burrow over one and a half passing touchdowns market. It should be priced at minus 134. Bet Rivers is giving it to us at minus 127. There is this that is profitable. The gap between these two numbers is your profitability. Should be priced one way, we are getting it more favorable, higher payout than what it should be priced at. In the long run, these bets will be profitable. And then what you want to do, <clears throat> just look at where every other sports book is pricing it, right? You just want to compare the odds of your bet to the rest of the sports books, which I kind of already did. But you want to start with Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world. Pinnacle prices this at minus 163. With the VIG removed, it would be above this number. That's a good sign. Bet online at minus 164. And then the rest of the sports books, one is close at minus 133. One's kind of close, not really, at minus 145. And then it's pretty much minus 150s across the board. So this is a pretty good play on Burrow to go over one and a half passing touchdowns. So this is play number one. Play number two is Devin Singletary to go under nine and a half rushing attempts. So this play is at minus 110 odds at bet 365. And then again, let's compare the markets of what we see here, right? First of all, I should mention this, the no big odds on this one are at about minus 115. We are getting minus 110. So right off the bat is your gap between the no big odds and the bet that we're placing. There's your profitability. And then looking at the rest of the markets, we see odds range all the way up to minus 154, which is insane. That's 45 or 44 cents higher than the bet 365 number. And then we see bet online at minus 135. Uh, DraftKings also at minus 135. Um, all either way, no matter how you slice it, this minus 110 is a pretty clear uh, <clears throat> excuse me outlier compared to every other book. So this is a good betting opportunity. This is play number two: Devin Singletary under nine and a half rushing attempts. Next up, 
Uh, in the same game, we're looking at James Cook to go under 39 and a half rushing yards. This play is at minus 101 odds at Caesars. So minus 101 is as close to 50-50 as you can get. So it's kind of easy to compare the markets when you're looking at a play at minus 101 to see if you're truly beating the line or not across the entire market. Basically, if a sportsbook has the under as more expensive, if they're charging more money for the under, that means they're telling you they think it's more likely, which is them... um, which is them, which is why, excuse me, why they're charging it more. So they think he's more likely to go under, so they're making you pay more money for it. And that's pretty much across the board what these sports books think. Starting with Pinnacle, minus 128, the other side at <clears throat> minus 103, heavily favoring the under. Bet online, not as heavy, still favoring the under. Minus 119 towards the under, minus 109 towards the over. And then look at the rest of the markets, minus 120, minus 120. Minus 120, minus 120. Every single sports book except for Bally Bet and uh, Bet365, aside from Caesars, favors this going under. Caesars is giving us minus 101, as close to uh, plus, or excuse me, close to even money as it gets. So this is a really good play. And this is play number three. James Cook under 39 and a half rushing yards. Um, I think I have two more plays for you guys. So I'm going to have five total. Next up, we're looking at Brock Purdy under 20 and a half completions, minus 115 at bet 365. So if I skip a play, it's because I don't deem it a good enough outlier and I try to be as selective as possible. So if you see me pass a play, that's why. This one, I do really like. Uh, Pinnacle prices it at minus 144. Bet online, kind of in between at minus 130. DraftKings minus 140. Typico minus 140. Bally bet minus 145. And then we see some kind of close in the kind of in the middle minus 130 with one closer at minus 120 either way still an outlier here uh brock purdy under 20 and a half completions and then my fifth and final play i believe yep is josh allen over 35 and a half passing attempts this is at minus 120 odds at uh bet fred pinnacle at minus 153 um fox bet at minus 143 and then we see like minus 144 regardless Pretty good and clear outlier compared to every other book. So this is going to be it. My fifth and final pick. So if you guys are tailing these, comment, let me know. Let me know in the YouTube comments. Other than that, would appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. Helps me out a ton. But that's all I got for you guys. So appreciate everybody watching and have a good one.